All right. Uh, good morning, by the way, or good afternoon or good evening, uh, wherever you're at uh, around the world right now. I wanted to give you guys a little helpful update on some of the things that I have been going through on my end uh, for the past two and a half to three weeks now. So the update is this. Um, my wife, Lauren, as well as my two baby girls and myself, we have all tested positive for COVID-19. And I could tell you that this has been one of the most challenging and difficult things we have ever had to endure as a family. And, um, and for me personally too, as well. And, and, and I've gone through some doozies in the past. I've gotten knocked about and got my ass kicked a little bit in the past with some challenges, but, but testing positive for COVID-19, um, is much different than overcoming nasty injuries or, 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 or being evicted or even being broke, which I have been uh, more than a few times. Um, and the reason why I feel like this is different is, is because my number one priority is to always protect my family and protect my children, my loved ones. By the way, I know I speak for all of you guys. It is our number one priority. All of you guys around the world, you always want to protect your family and your babies. Um, so, and I wish it was only me who tested positive. Um, but it wasn't, it was my entire family. So this one was a real kick in the gut, but I am happy to tell you guys that we as a family are good. We are on the other end of it. We're on the other side. We are no longer contagious and we are, thank God, we are healthy and we've gotten through COVID-19 stronger and healthier. And, you know, believe me, I am counting my blessings because like all of us, we all, uh, have, we all have been hit by this thing, um, whether it is people we know, family we know, loved ones we know, friends we know. Um, so we are counting our blessings right now because we're well aware that it isn't always the case that you get on the other end of uh, COVID-19 stronger and healthier. Um, I have had some of my best friends have lost their parents, their loved ones. Uh, to this virus that has, that is so incredibly relentless and unforgiving and it is insidious. We are counting our blessings. Um, but we are good. And, you know, I, I gotta tell you, you know, some of the silver linings out of this, and I'm always trying to look for silver linings when challenges come my way is, um, generally, uh, babies and little children, um, can often have little to no symptoms at all. So for our babies, Jazzy and Tia, it was, um, they had a little sore throat, uh, the first couple of days, but other than that, they bounced back and, and they, uh, it, it's been life as normal, uh, happy babies running around and playing, uh, but we have isolated ourselves as a family. It's what we had to do. But Lauren and I, it was a little bit different, uh, for Lauren and I, we, we had a rough go, but we got through it. And again, we got through it as a family. We are stronger. We are better. And we did it together. Um, there are a few takeaways that I want to share with you guys. Um, and I know you have a lot of questions for me and, uh, at some point we'll do a Q and A down the road, which we have been doing our Q and A's ever since we've been in quarantine, which of course have been a lot of fun and I've always enjoyed that connecting with you guys. Uh, but there's a few takeaways that I want to share that I do believe will help you and your families. Number one, to fight COVID-19 because I do not want you to get COVID-19, but God forbid if you do. Uh, some of the things that I've learned and gleaned, the takeaways uh, that I want to share with you will help you guys get through it and get on the other side, uh, healthy and stronger. Um, here's how we got COVID-19. We picked up COVID-19 from very close family friends. And these are people who we love and trust. These are people who we still love and trust. And they are devastated, by the way, that they were the ones who picked it up. They have no idea where they picked it up. Uh, they're devastated that it that it led to them infecting our family um, with it. Luckily, we were able to control it and mitigate it, uh, and it didn't spread out of control. Um, but they, like us, have been incredibly disciplined. You guys know me. Uh, I'm a pretty nice guy. I work hard. I like to have a good time. But I am also incredibly disciplined. I am extremely <laughs> disciplined when it comes to health, when it comes to best practices, when it comes to safety measures for my family and for my loved ones and my friends and people who I care about. I'm very, very disciplined and I've applied that discipline. We were on lockdown uh, since March with uh, all of you guys too as well. We have been disciplined, we have quarantined, we have isolated. I have not worked. 
Um, and I have, I feel like we've done a pretty good job of protecting our family, but, uh, like a lot of you guys out there, having your friends over, having your families, family members over your loved ones, of course you want that because you want that connection and you want to be with the people who you love and who you, who you care about and who you have a good time with. My takeaway here is, isn't necessarily keep them away. I'm not saying that, but what I am saying is now apply even an even greater discipline, uh, to having people over to your house. So now what we're going to do, and believe me, I was disciplined, strict and stringent <laughs> before, uh, but now this household, I'm going to, there's going to be new rules that I'm implementing. And, um, and I pass this on to you guys. If there, if you guys are having family and friends over to your house, you know them, you trust them. They've been quarantining just like you guys. You still never know. You never know. So take an even aggressive measure, uh, have them tested, get everybody tested before they come over, uh, have them tested the day before. And if they test positive, if they test positive, you stay away. If you don't, then you come over. So those are some of the things that we're going to be doing. Um, again, because you never know. The other thing that I want to share with you guys and that was no doubt helpful in getting us through, uh, this coronavirus and this COVID-19 was the commitment to wellness and the commitment to health and doing everything that we could possibly do to boost our immune system. Um, that's my lifestyle anyway, but no doubt, you know, with our immunity and as we boost our, our immune system and strengthen our immunity, you know, our, our immunity and our, and our system is, is made up of organisms that their one job is to fight toxins, fight infections, fight viruses, fight disease. And now I sound a lot smarter than I actually am, but through this process, I've had an opportunity to speak to great doctors, my own doctor, the world's top epidemiologist. And uh, this is something that they have said and shared that, you know, one of the things that we can all do um, is just do everything we can to boost our immune system, antioxidants, taking our vitamins, staying hydrated. It goes back to a philosophy I have my own two hands. It's we got to control the controllables. And in this case, we can control the controllables, my two hand philosophy. So the takeaway is be disciplined, be disciplined when it comes to uh, people coming over to your house, get them tested. You never know. Um, be extra cautious. Don't let your guard down. Uh, boost your immunity um, with antioxidants, your vitamins, things of that nature. Um, and if you're already doing that, then great. Keep up the great work. But if you um, are out there and you're like, well, I I'm really going to do it when the new year comes or I want to do it. I know I should do it, but what should I do? It's really easy. The effort is really minimal. It's just a slight tweak in how you approach things. So that is what I would highly recommend to you guys to boost your immunity. Because here's the thing. If you know, when you have a boosted immune system and your immune system is strong and it's not compromised, then you got a shot. You got a shot at not getting uh, COVID-19. But if you do get COVID-19, God forbid, or if your entire family gets COVID-19 like mine, give yourself, give yourself a shot. Give yourself chances, better chances, greater chances. Uh, stack the deck in your favor. Have your immune, in, immune system boosted so you can get on the other side of COVID-19. Uh, stronger, hopefully stronger and healthier. The other thing is wear your mask. We have been in quarantine for months. We wear our mask every day. Um, you know, I, this, it baffles me that some people out there, including some politicians, uh, will take this idea of wearing masks and make it a political agenda, part of a political agenda, politicizing it. It has nothing to do with politics. Wear your mask. It is a fact. And it is the right thing to do. And it's the responsible thing to do, not only for yourself, but for your family and your loved ones, but also for your fellow human beings. And I know that there's some people out there who have underlying lung conditions. They have COPD. They refuse to wear masks in public. I get it. I understand. Um, my mom was diagnosed with stage 3B lung cancer about 10 and a half years ago. And as many of you know, when you're diagnosed at that stage, you're having conversations you don't want to have and you're making plans that you don't want to make. And luckily she survived, but they had to remove a lot of her lung uh, through the process of chemo and radiation. And she operates with very low lung capacity. She has COPD too as well, that never goes away, but she wears her mask every day because it's the best thing for her health and her safety, 
but also, again, it's the right thing to do when it comes to protecting other people, again, your fellow human beings as well. So wear your mask. It's